Everybody, it is Lung Cancer Awareness Month, and today we're talking about early detection. It can really make a difference with this type of cancer. Melissa Cole went to Yukon Health, where she met a woman who had the diagnosis. Take a look. I was going for my annual checkup with my uh, doctor, and uh, she, the doctor just asked her, you know, anything new, anything going on? I said, well, every now and then I feel a little discomfort when I'm lying down at night. It's not all the time, it's intermittent. And doctor said, well, let's just check it out, make sure nothing's going on. Patricia Davis of Farmington got a scan that day and a call from her doctor that night, so she knew it wasn't good news. I'm referring you to pulmonary immediately. She met with Dr. Omar Ibrahim, director of thoracic oncology at Yukon Health. So interestingly enough, she had two spots in her lung. We were concerned about both. Uh, one was cancer, the other was not cancerous. You know, when you hear that word cancer, I think I kind of like blanked out. I didn't hear anything else he was saying afterwards. Patricia is a dancer, loves to travel, and has grandchildren who keep her busy. So cancer was the last thing she expected to hear. It was caught early enough that they removed it. I have not had to have chemo, no type of radiation, no medication, I've been cancer free. November 12th of this year will be six years. But that's not the case for everyone with this diagnosis, especially people who smoke or have a long history of tobacco use. Lung cancer unfortunately is the leading cause of death for all cancers. Um, I think a lot of uh, cancers probably get a little more recognition, but when you're looking at overall mortality, uh, lung cancer affects the most amount of patients. Here at Yukon Health, there's a screening program for patients at highest risk. People who have smoked a pack a day for 20 years and are between the ages of 50 and 80. They receive regular scans. Typically, most scans are normal. Uh, we find maybe a couple small spots that we really don't do much about. We say we'll see the patient in a year and we'll keep an eye on it. Um, the goal of the scans is to catch cancer at its infancy. If cancer does develop, it's removed with surgery early. For patients who discover cancer at an advanced stage, new technologies are being developed and used here at UConn Health every day. What sets us apart here at UConn Health is the ability to think about tomorrow and how we're going to treat patients who unfortunately can't be treated with surgery. Uh, some patients have recurrence. Some patients can't have surgery because their lung function is too poor. So what we're looking for is to be able to treat patients uh, with uh, minimally invasive techniques. As for Patricia, she's thankful she spoke up during her physical. You have to be vigilant about your own health because if I didn't say anything, if I didn't mention it, it could have gone on, it would have progressed, and who knows? If I could give any advice to patients out there who come to Yukon Health or anywhere across the country or even family members, is to really encourage them uh, to help their family uh, members quit smoking. Smoke cessation programs are available throughout the country as well as throughout the state. And I really implore them to go to any, or any program to see if we can get them to stop smoking. Hmm. That is really important. And for more information or to schedule an appointment, you can visit health.yukon.edu or give them a call at 860-679-2100. All of that information is right there on your screen. Mm -hmm.